Okay, cool. All right, we got 703. So good morning, everybody. Um, thank you so much for joining us today for some power vinyasa yoga. Let me adjust my seat here. Um, it's so awesome to see you. I know it's tough to get up so early on a Friday morning, but truly appreciate you guys taking the time out for yourselves, for each other, um, to really get get connected, right? We're, we're about halfway through our quarantine crusher challenge, and we've got a couple weeks left here. Um, hopefully, at that point, maybe some of us will be able to start getting back together again, which would be amazing, right? Uh, I don't know. Just give me a human sign here if you're kind of feeling the effects of being uh, away from people, the people that you love, the people that you want to be connected to, your friends, your family, um, that can be, you know, after some time it starts to take its toll. So, um, you know, I think about why I do what I do for Team RWB, why am I teaching yoga here today, and really it's about, um, it's, it's about the movement, it's about bringing tools to people, but it's also so much about connection, um, and, uh, you know, for those of you that have practiced yoga for a long time, or maybe this is your first yoga practice, um, what yoga means is union, um, to be one. And so I think that that is so fitting for ourselves and for our community to join each other today. I know we've got some folks that are like here in the United States and maybe some people that are halfway around the world right now. And yet, you know, I'm just grateful this technology can allow us to all be together um, and experience the practice of yoga. And so uh, if this is your first time practicing, I'll just say now there's no wrong way to yoga, which is why it's beautiful. So um, I'm going to give you some cues in Baptiste yoga. We don't always um, model the poses. I'll do my best to do some of that for you if it's your first time. Um, but really just listen to the cues and know that so long as, um, you know, you've got the foundation in your feet that I'm going to kind of instruct you to um, everything that feels comfortable for you is right. So there's no there's no wrong shape. There's no wrong way to do this. Um, just focusing on our breath, connecting our breath to our movement, um, and focusing on you know one space, our drishti, our vision, to really help to provide that those messages of soothing to the nervous system, which is probably another reason why we're here, right? <laughs> so we're all experiencing a little level of anxiety through all of these crazy times that we're in right now. So. All right, we're gonna get started in child's pose. So you can come to your knees on your mat and spread your knees out wide towards the edges of your mat. Leaning forward with your arms extended out front. And if it's comfortable for you resting your forehead on the mat, really using this opportunity to get grounded to the room that you're in, the space, the safe space that you've provided for yourself, to your breath, feeling the tops of your feet pressing against the, against the mat, spread your fingers out wide, grounding down into the earth. Open your eyes, see what you see. Be here, whatever you need to give yourself permission to let go of in this moment. To be here for yourself, for your community. Take a deep breath in together. And with your mouth closed, a deep breath out. Inhale together. And on your exhale, press up into downward facing dog. We're gonna make an inverted V with our bodies. Drawing your tailbone up towards the sky. And if your calves and your hamstrings are tight because we have so many awesome runners here, that's okay. You can take a little micro bend in your knees if that feels comfortable to you, if that's what your body is asking for right now. You can pedal your legs out, 
what we like to call walking the dog. Take any movements that you feel like you need right now to just kind of get connected to your body. Drawing your shoulder blades towards your upper back, your thoracic spine, creating a, a long line between the crown of your head and your tailbone. Jose, you can drop your head. Yeah, that's great. Let your head hang down. Yeah, that's it. We'll take another breath in here together. Exhale. Inhale. And as we exhale, step your feet to the front of your mat. Grab opposite hand with opposite elbows and fold forward for ragdoll. Tailbone towards the sky, hamstrings towards the heavens, letting the crown of your head drop down. Just let your arms hang. Sway side to side if that feels good for you. And we'll come back to center together. Inhale, hands to your hips. And inhale your hands up over your head for extended mountain pose. Exhale your hands to heart center. And we'll start our practice with one arm. Inhale together. Exhale. Aum. Inhale, hands up over our head for extended mountain pose. Palms facing each other. Crown of your head lifting. Rooting down to the four corners of your feet. Exhale, forward fold. Bend at your waist, hands to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to your shins, crown of your head towards the front of the room. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Extended mountain pose, reach arms up over your head, palms facing each other. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to your shins. Exhale, hands to the mat for high plank. High push-up position to low push-up position, exhale. Inhale to upward facing dog. You can drop your knees to the mat if that feels comfortable for you. Tops of your feet pressing down. Exhale to downward facing dog pose. We'll take three breaths here. Fixing your eyes on a single point between your feet. Inhaling together. Exhale, step your feet to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to mountain pose, reach up, crown of your head towards the ceiling, hands extending, fingers reaching towards the ceiling. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to high plank. Softening your back, drawing your uh, shoulder blades towards your spine here, reaching the crown of your head towards the front of the room. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog pose, pressing down on the tops of your feet. Exhale to downward facing dog. 
Three breaths here. Starting your body feel the, starting to feel your body warm up. Hopefully. Focusing on how it feels for your shoulders to start saying good morning to you. Your toes spread out wide on the mat. And on your next exhale, we're gonna step to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to mountain pose. Reach up, hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, high plank. High plank pose, low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Inhale together. Exhale front of your mat. Inhale halfway lift. Exhale forward fold. You know where we're going now. Move with your breath, inhale to, to mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to high plank. To low plank. To upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Feet to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to mountain pose, reach up. Look up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. High plank, low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Let's can take a deep breath in here, sigh it out. Oh, starting to wake up, I think, from coast to coast. We'll take three breaths together. Open your eyes, see what you see, be where you are. Inhale together. Exhale, step your right foot to your right hand for warrior one. Spin your back foot to 45 degrees. <clears throat> you can reach your arms up over your head, palms facing in. We can keep your hands at heart center if that's comfortable for you. Finding your edge here. What does your body need today? Maybe it's leaning into that front leg, finding 90 degree angle in your front quad. Starting to wake up the muscles in your body. Inhale together. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back to high plank. Low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bring your left foot to your left hand, warrior one on the left side. Draw your right hip forward, Marsha, pulling your left hip back a little bit. Great. Breathing. Inhale together. Exhale, hands to your mat. Step back to high plank, to low plank. Moving with your breath, upward facing dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Step both feet to your front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to forward fold. 
reach up to mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to high plank. Low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Right foot to your front of your mat for uh, warrior one. Hands up over your head. If that feels good, you can keep your hands on your hips or your heart center. Really finding your edge here. What does your body need this morning? Drishti. Finding one spot to focus on, using your breath to come back to your body when your mind wants to run away. Inhale together. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back to high plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left foot, warrior one. Step your left foot to your left hand. Ground down through the four corners of your feet. Reach up through the crown of your head. Fingertips to the ceiling. Inhale, exhale to high plank to low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Step both feet to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, crown of your head towards the front of the room. Exhale, forward fold. Taking three breaths here. Reach up to extended mountain pose. Chair pose. To bring your feet together, sitting back, keeping your knees behind or aligned with your ankles. Hands to heart center. On your next inhale, reach your hands up. On your exhale, sink three inches deeper. Using your breath to stay. Inhale together. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. High plank. To low plank. Upward facing dog pose. Downward facing dog, right foot to your right hand, warrior one. Exhale, hands to your mat, chaturanga. High plank, low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Step your left foot to your left hand for warrior one. Hands to the heavens, crown of your head towards the, towards the top of the to the, the top of the room, the ceiling, whatever you want to call it. Exhale, forward fold, high plank to low plank. Moving with your breath, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Step both feet to the front of your mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Sink down to chair pose, reach your hands up to the, to the heavens. Breathing together as one community through the difficulty. Drishti. 
Inhale, exhale, hands to the mat. Step back to high plank, to low plank, upward facing dog pose, downward facing dog. We'll take three breaths here. On your next inhale, lift your right leg towards the ceiling. Bend your knee. Stack your hips, draw your right hip over your left. And you can stay here or flip your dog so draw your right foot all the way over to the opposite side of your body using your left hand towards the ground your right hand in the air great nathan brett good job good job everybody all right carefully come back to high plank pose to low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Lift your left foot towards the ceiling. Flex your toes towards your shin. Draw your shoulder blades towards your spine. Bend your left knee. Stack your hips and stay here in three-legged dog, or you can flip your dog, bringing your left leg over, right hand down, left hand towards the ceiling. Carefully come back to high plank pose. Take three breaths here. Step your right foot to your right hand for crescent lunge, leaving your the ball of your foot, your heel extended up over your left toes. Your left leg powerfully engaged, drawing your hamstring towards the ceiling, both feet facing 12 o'clock. Reaching your arms up over your head, palms facing each other. Activate those fingers. Inhale your hands to heart center. On your exhale, twist, draw your left elbow to your right knee. Pressing your palms against each other, finding leverage using that knee. Draw your belly in. Extending the crown of your head towards the front of the room. Exhale, hands up over your head. Inhale together. Exhale, chaturanga, high plank to low plank to upward facing dog pose. Downward facing dog, crescent lunge on the left side, bring your left foot to your left hand, your, your right heel over your right toes. Arms up over your head, palms facing each other. Exhale your hands to heart center and twist to the left. Draw your right elbow to your left knee. Tally, you can take the top of your head towards the front of the room.
There you go. <laughs> you can bring your knee to the floor. There you go. Exhale, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Step both feet to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chair pose. Hands to heart center. Twist to the right. Breathing. Sinking lower with every exhale. Inhale, hands up over your head, chair pose. Exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. You can take your, your peace fingers and wrap them around your big toes for yogi toe lock. If you can, uh, you can bend your knees here to gain access to that pose, drawing your belly towards your, your thighs, allowing your head to hang. Taking a moment here to notice how your body might feel different than it did when we started. Gorilla pose. Walk your palms of your hands under your feet, drawing your toes up towards your wrist crease. Bending your knees here is perfect. Allowing your head to hang. Tailbone towards the sky. Release your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, the extended mountain pose. Eagle pose on the right side. Wrap your right arm under your left and your right leg over. Drawing into center line here. Grounding down to the four corners of your standing foot. Finding one spot to focus on. Inhale, extended mountain pose. Exhale, eagle on the left side, left arm under, left leg over. Inhale, extended mountain pose. Eagle on the right side. Let this one be new. Right arm under, right leg over. Grounding down through the four corners of your feet. Lifting the crown of your head up towards the ceiling. Inhale, extended mountain pose. Eagle on the left. 
left arm under, left leg over. Drawing your left side body and your right side body into center line. From the skin to the muscle to the bone, hug in. Exhale, extended mountain pose. Inhale your right leg up at 90 degrees, hands on your hips. And if you can reach your baby, set, baby toe side of your foot, you can do that. Extend your leg out. You can grab your shin here, whatever feels good for you. And take your drishti to your left side, draw your right leg out to the right side. Breathing. Bring your leg back to center, your vision back to center. Hands up over your head. And kick your leg back behind you for airplane pose. Arms to your side, palms facing down. Pick one spot in the front of your mat. If you fall out, that's okay. Just come back in. Bring your right foot back to the mat. Hands to your hips. Left leg in the air in front of you. You can grab your, your baby. I'll, I'll just tr stop trying to say it since I can't say it today. <laughs> the baby toe side of your foot or your big toe or your shin. Drishti in front. Grounding down through the four corners of your feet. And extend your leg out to the left side. Drishti to the right. Bring your leg back to center, hands up over your head. Draw your left leg behind you, airplane on the left. Palms facing down. Bring your right foot, bring your foot to the mat. Inhale, hands up over your head. Tree on the right side. Bring the inside of your right foot to your, you can do a tripod or a, a kickstand here, just to your ankle, to the inside of your calf muscle. You can bring it all the way up to the inside of your thigh. Either way is perfect. Pressing down through the cor four corners of your feet. Bring your right foot to the mat. Tree on the left side. Switch sides, tree on the right. Bring 
and tree on the left. We need a balanced tree. <laughs> Be here in the middle of the of the stillness that you've created for yourself. Be aware of your breath filling your lungs. Knowing you can always come back here at any time. Bring both feet to the mat. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to high plank. To low plank. Upward facing dog pose. Downward facing dog. Step your right foot to your right hand for warrior one. And now straighten your front knee for triangle pose. Warrior two, draw your uh, right hand forward, your left hand towards the back of the room. Taking your right hand towards your right shin, your left hand towards the ceiling. Straighten your front leg. Draw the crown of your head towards the front of the room. Draw your shoulder blades towards your spine. You can look down at your bottom foot or look up towards your left thumb. Exhale to high plank. Low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Bring your left foot to your left hand, warrior one. Warrior two, spin your hips, left hand forward, right hand towards the back of the room. Straighten your left leg. Bring your left palm to your left shin, your right hand up towards the ceiling for triangle. Again, you can look down if it bothers your neck, you can look at your big toe. Look up at your right thumb. Exhale to high plank, to low plank, high plank, low plank, high plank, to low plank, and all the way down to the floor. You can brush your favorite cheek on the mat. Look to the other direction. Bring your hands to your side. Our locust pose. On our next inhale, we're going to lift our legs up using our glutes and our hamstrings. Breathe your chest up, pressing down with your arms. Finding a spot in the front of your mat to look at locust pose. Exhale down to the mat. Take a breath here, inhale. Exhale, and in our next inhale, we're gonna come up. Locust pose. Exhale, release. 
Last one, come up, Locust. Exhale, come down. Bend your knees and we're gonna just windshield wipe our, our legs from side to side. It feels good. This is usually when I can tell if I ate too much for dinner last night. <laughs> massage, giving yourself a little stomach massage. Gonna, okay, come to center. And we're gonna swing our legs around and come to a seated position for bridge pose. Bring your, bring your back flat on the mat. Draw your heels towards your glutes. You can bring your hands to your side, flat on the mat. And press up for bridge. Draw your hips towards the ceiling, engaging your quadriceps. And come down. Go up, drawing your knees in towards each other, pretending there's an imaginary block you have to keep there and come down. Let's go up for bridge. And down. If wheel is in your practice, you can bring your hands towards the side of your head. If not, that's perfect. We'll do bridge or wheel, come up. Press up, drawing your hips towards the ceiling. Come down, slowly tuck your chin. Let your knees go side to side. We'll come up one more time for bridge or wheel. Come down, tuck your chin, legs side to side. Bring your feet up at a 90 degree angle. So draw the bottoms of your feet towards the ceiling. We're gonna do some abs here. So we're gonna come down 30 degrees, lower 30 degrees. And one third more. Bring your heels to a hover over the floor, a couple inches. Lift your head up. Uh, look between your toes and bring your feet back towards the ceiling. And down, down another third to a hover. Drishti between your toes. Both feet towards the ceiling. We'll do one more. Don't miss it here. 30 degrees down and 30 into a hover. And relax. Bring the soles of your feet to touch Supta Baddha Konasana. Let your knees um, hang to each side of your mat. Bring one hand to your heart. One hand to your belly. Noticing where you might feel your heartbeat in your body. Bring your hands to your side and press up into a seated position. And 
double pigeon. So stack your right, um, your right ankle over your left leg. It's also known as fire lug pose. And if this isn't accessible to you, you can um, lay on your back and do a figure four. And just really trying to open up the hips here. We do so much sitting, storing so much of our, our stress and our negative energy inside of our body and our hips. You can stay here if that's comfortable for you. You can lean forward. Switch sides, right leg on the bottom, left foot on top. You can stay here, you can lean forward. Come up to this seated position. You bring both legs out in front of you. Arms up over your head. Lean forward. Whatever you can reach here, if it's your shins, if it's your toes. If you're able to reach your toes, press your thumbs into the bottoms of your big toes, the tendons right below your big toe and draw your baby toes towards you. Just getting a nice stretch there. Come up. We're gonna come to our back for an inversion of your choice. So if that is, if shoulder stand is in your practice, you can take shoulder stand. If waterfalls, my favorite, if you have a block, or if not, you can just use your hands underneath of your um, pelvis and lift your, the soles of your feet up towards the ceiling. And use this as a moment to drop in. Feel the ground supporting you. All of the energy that you just generated here with your teammates this morning, allowing that to flow through your body from the soles of your feet, down to your calves, your hamstrings, to your heart, if you're in shoulder stand, you can come to plow pose, drawing your feet behind you to the floor, from plow to deaf man's pose in your knees towards the side of your ears.
Everyone can come to a flat back on your mat. Draw your knees in. Give yourself a big hug for showing up this morning. Squeeze every muscle in your face, in your arms, in your fingers, in your toes, in your feet. And release Shavasana. You can let your legs fall, extend out your arms, draw your feet to the sides of your mat. Take up space. Notice where you detect your breath in your body. Maybe it's on your upper lip. Maybe it's in your belly. If you're like me, maybe you've been missing the human touch. I think I've never in my life been a hugger. And yet suddenly when we can't hug anyone, I'm missing it desperately. And so if that's you this morning, I invite you to bring your hand to your heart and maybe your other arm around your belly Whatever is comfortable for you. And bring to mind a loved one that you're missing, maybe a teammate, a friend. and know that they're here with you. We're here with you. And start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Roll onto your right side into the fetal position. Drawing your knees in. Taking this moment for gratitude for your body maybe for the practice of yoga, maybe it's for your team RWB teammates that showed up this morning so that you could see their face and they could see you.
And when you're ready, you can press up into a seated position, keeping your eyes closed if it's comfortable for you. Bringing your hands to heart center. We'll take three full body breaths in together. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And I'll seal our practice together with the sound of peace. One ohm. Inhale. Um. Inhale your thumb knuckles to the center of your forehead. The light in me sees and honors the light and love in each and every one of you. We bow together and say namaste. Namaste. Yay. Okay, I'm going to mute, unmute everybody. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day, everybody. Don't forget to check in, please. Cool. No, you want more yoga by checking in. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Amanda. Absolutely. I'll see you. Right. Oh, see you Thank later. You. Bye. You're welcome. Good to see you, Curtis. Bye. Have a great weekend. Hi, Julie. Bye. Bye. Thank Thank you. You. Bye. 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 How are you doing, Curtis? Good. How are you? Good. You keep you're keeping my man uh Will on track. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I was not aware, but yeah, apparently. <laughs> oh man, you asked for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, how I, you doing, Helen? I'm you. doing fine, thank you. Good. Was that good? Yes. Yeah. Uh, all right. All right. Yeah. See you, Amanda. Bye, Curtis. Thanks. Have a great day. You too. Thank Bye. You. Thanks, everybody. See ya. Bye. Bye. You, re you there, Rachel? No, nope. yes, no, maybe. So was it Rachel that was wearing pajamas?